If you're following my Supernode series, you know that from the very beginning, I was hoping to somehow connect it to Obsidian. But the connection itself was never my goal. That's technology. I knew I would be able to find a way. Uh, what I wanted to do first was understand how the Supernode would help me take more mindful notes. The previous videos were all about experimenting and some of my experimentations I, I, I haven't shown you here on the channel. But now I'm ready. <laughs> Today I'm going to share with you some possible ways to connect both. But keep in mind that they are all mindful connections. Okay, let's go. The first thing you want to do if you're not doing it yet is connect the super node to the cloud. So let's fly down here, go to settings. And then we have here sync. There are four options here. I have already connected the super node cloud Dropbox and Google Drive to test them. I don't have a OneDrive account and that's why I didn't connect it. But that ended up being a good thing. I can show you here uh, the steps. So all you have to do is tap on connect you see this QR code and this address and below that a code. All you have to do is type that address and that will ask you for the code. Type the code and now both accounts are connected. After that, let's go to Dropbox here for example. Select which folders you want to be synchronized with that service. There are the ways to take your files out of the Supernode, but I believe most of us are using one of those services, so <laughs> it's easier. However, uh, it's not constantly synchronizing. You always have to tell it to synchronize. To do that, you slide down from the top of the screen and you tap the this little cloud here and that will synchronize uh, your device with the cloud. As you can see here, I'm back to that folder idea, the organizing single files, single thoughts, or each note containing a specific subject and all those notes inside a folder. That has everything to do with the connection uh, to Obsidian. Uh, and keep in mind that I'm not synchronizing it with Obsidian. You, you soon understand it. Let's start with this note that I created for this video. And by the way, if these videos are being helpful, if you're considering buying a super note, please use my affiliate link. It's pretty easy to remember. Vladcampos.com slash SN. Super note, SN. <laughs> okay, first thing I'm going to do here is show you how I'm using, how I'm creating some notes. So I'm creating links. So if I use the lasso two and then tap this little chain here, I can select uh, a document to connect this, uh, that number two to, in this case is the page number two. And let's do the same uh, here, page number three. My dog is coming. <laughs> okay, page number three. And this was something important that I, I needed to test to make sure that this connection to Obsidian would work. So now when I, okay, let's go back a step here. The super note is this space where I'm taking this mindful notes. Most of the time I come back from a run and I grab the super note and take notes here. It's great. It's almost no friction, but I want those notes to be raw. I, I, I want them to be creative. So I, that's why I, I also, another reason that I went back to the simple folder structure, just create a note and that's it. But that note, or those notes will end up becoming something. And when that happens, I don't need the notes here anymore. But I want to preserve things like this, like the connection, the links. And one task that I wanted to do was exporting this note as a PDF and making sure that these links 
would still work as a PDF, and then moving that PDF to Obsidian, and then finally deleting the node from the Supernode. So let's let's go through all those steps. First, the three dots here, export. Let's choose the three pages. PDF is already selected. Export, original, I don't need a vector. It's going to add this PDF file to uh, an export folder. But as I just told you, these are projects or ideas or whatever it is that I'm done with. So I don't need the file, the uh, Supernode file. And what I'm doing as a backup, I don't even know if I'm going to keep doing this, but I'm also moving this one here, move to export. Okay, so now I have both of them and we can go to the computer. Oh, first we have to synchronize. You know what? I enjoy this. It's not automatic. We have to think about it. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. It's slow <laughs> on this times of AI and a lot of automations and everything. I'm really enjoying this pace here. Okay, let's take a look at the computer now. This here is my Dropbox folder. And as you can see, both files are here. On the other side, we have my Obsidian file structure. Just as a reminder, this is the account I use uh, to record the videos. This is not my real account. But let's move this from here to, let's say, files. And because I'm moving them from the Dropbox folder to a local folder in my computer, they will also be deleted from the Supernode the next time I synchronize. If we go to files, we'll only see the PDF because Obsidian doesn't recognize the .node format. You can set uh, Obsidian to show uh, all the files if you want to. Let's go to file and links and detect all file extensions. Now the file is here, but you cannot do anything with it yet. First, let's take a look at the PDF and make sure the links still work. As for the .node file, if we click here, nothing will happen because, again, Obsidian doesn't understand this, my Mac doesn't understand this format. But what if I told you there is a way to read this file format? inside Obsidian. You probably already know where I'm going with this, right? Yes, there is a plugin. Browse, super note, install, enable. If you click here on options, it will explain you how it works, but we are here doing just that. So let's go back to Obsidian. And if I click here now, <laughs> And I can also switch to different pages from here. This is pretty cool, right? But hold on, there is much more to this plugin. First, I can use this note as any other Obsidian note. I can, for example, drag it here and I have a link to that note. Or I can create an attachment and save that to my vault by clicking here or create an attachment and the markdown file clicking here. So this is what we have now, a note. And we also have here the PNG files, but hold on, there is more. The Supernote has one feature I've been using since the first video, this screen right here. If you slide down from the top of the screen, there are other options here, the same place we went to synchronize the Supernote but there is this little screen here. And if I tap here, well, that disappeared because I turn it off, but if I turn it on and that Supernode plugin takes advantage of this feature in a pretty clever way. Let me show you. Okay, now we have a technical limitation here because I'm not gonna share the screen here anymore. So I'll use my phone to show you the Supernode screen 
you soon understand what's going on here. We'll go back to the plugin. Here it is. And as you can see here, there's a little box to add the super node address. So let's slide down here again, tap the screen sharing. We now have this address here. I'm going to enter it here. Now, as you can see, there's uh, 8080 at the end, and we have to type that on a browser if we want to share the Supernode screen like I've been doing here on the right hand side or left. I, I never remember what's happening on your side. Okay. <laughs> but here, it, it doesn't work if we type the 8080. So for some reason uh, that I don't understand, all you have to type is everything before the column. And if we go back to our node, for example, this one here, and let's say I'm doing something here on the super node that I want to attach to this node here. So all I have to do is use the palette, common P, start writing super node, an official super node plugin, click here, and ta da <laughs> It, it takes a print screen, this is what I have here, and adds it to the node. And this is uh, a PNG file. And since this is Obsidian and these are our uh, files, I can right click here, open it on the default app. And from here, for example, let's say I want to crop this. Crop save, go back to Obsidian, and here it is. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Hold on, don't go just yet. I have some final thoughts here. First, of course, we can create an automation. It's possible to create an automation to grab the files from that export uh, folder and send it to some folder in Obsidian, but I don't see a point on doing that. I prefer it like this. I, I, I can see the files. Again, it's the slow thing. I, I, for now, I'm not thinking about automations, okay? Uh, the other thing is I'm also working on another video soon about doing something similar, but with text. Today was more about handwritings and note-taking with the pen, but there's another video coming up soon. So if you are interested in that, please subscribe to the channel. And remember, if you're thinking on buying a Supernode, please use my affiliate link. And if this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon, becoming a YouTube member, or buying me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.